if anyone's interested in the history of Christianity or history of religion in places in the world that might be a little bit uh, unfamiliar to you that aren't, uh, say, Europe or uh, the United States, um, this is a pretty interesting book. Um, it's called, uh, let me hold it up for you, The Lost History of Christianity, The Thousand-Year Golden Age of the Church in the Middle East, Africa, and Asia, and How It Died. And it's by Philip Jenkins, who, by the way, let me just give him his full props here, a uh, Ph.D. in history from Cambridge University and is now the Penn State University um, uh, is at Penn State University and holds the Edwin, Edwin Earl Sparks Professorship in Humanities in History and Religious Studies. So I thought this would be interesting. Um, it was okay. <laughs> um, to speak of Christianity is almost necessarily to turn our imaginations toward Western Europe, where Christianity flourished for centuries in the midst of religious wars, social turmoil, and even Islamic competition for economic and military power. But the thousand-year golden age, uh, referred to in the subtitle here, uh, refers not to the West, but, um, as you can tell, by the various Christianities that arose all over northern Africa, uh, the Levant, the Middle East, and the Far East. Instead of the Latin that dominated the that dominated the West, Christianity in the rest of the world was conducted in a number of languages, including Syriac and the Koine Greek of St. Paul. While Jenkins looks at Christianity in various parts of the East, he largely clumps them together into what he calls Syriac Nestorian, referring to the language Syriac and uh, uh, or the, the the language family and Nestorianism, which is a, a brand of uh, Christian theology long considered to be a heresy in the in the West, but that was really tightly held on to in the East. Jenkins spends most of his time talking about Christianity in different parts of the Eastern world instead of uh, telling us, like it says in the subtitle, how it died. This is much more a book of how these communities flourished and lived side by side with people of other religions. Uh, we get lots of vignettes of how in the East, for example, Christians lived next to Jews and especially Muslims for centuries. Around the 13th and the 14th century, however, Muslims who uh, almost always were the power-holding elites in these regions began to grow increasingly intolerant toward other religious minorities. Why is this the case? Well, Jenkins never really says, and that's one of the, the weak points in the book that I found. He offers a number of explanations, which I believe were meant to be the heart of the book, including things like the marginalization of certain languages and the rise of a powerful political kind of Islam, but he never makes it seem like he's convinced by any one of those explanations any more than he's convinced by any other. So I found this to kind of be a confusing or rather a confused book that wasn't aware of really what it wanted to say. Uh, it would have been much better with a different title and subtitle um, and a thesis for that matter, any thesis that actually said something instead of just talking about how Christianity was in other parts of the world. <laughs> Instead, you sort of get a mishmash that tries to convey the importance of Christianity in the East and to some extent succeeds. Uh, but if you want an explanation of why Christianity survived in the West, but was nearly totally decimated in the East, you won't find much of an explanation in this book. I might suggest this to someone for whom the Christian East is a pretty new concept, not very familiar with it, but um, if you want sort of more detailed answers, um, there, and, and even if you don't, um, there are probably some better resources out there to uh, check into, even though um, I don't really uh, know of where you could go. Um, 
if, if you want to know. I'm, I'm probably sure I could dig up a few resources now, but I didn't actually take the time to put them into the review. If you're curious, let me know in the comments, and I'll see what I can dig up for you. The Lost History of Christianity, the Thousand-Year Golden Age of the Church in the Middle East, Asia, Middle East, Africa, and Asia, and how it died.